Hi, Dave Jack here, superintendent of Fox County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. Uh, this may be my last Three Great Things um, for the school year, but it certainly won't be my last update because we've got a lot going on during the summer. So I'll continue to pro provide updates during the summer. But I did want to point out three things. Um, so I've seen a lot of great things in the last three, three weeks or so, two or, two or three weeks. And, uh, but some things really stood out and I wanted to share them with you. One, of course, is graduations. Um, always a highlight, uh, particularly so this year because they were more normal graduations. Um, they, they required some planning on the part of the school in order to meet uh, the governor's uh, mandate relative to spacing, et cetera. But they did a great job and the, and then the, the um, ceremonies were really well done as usual and uh really enjoyed them and it's it's always it's always a real treat to participate in those ceremonies and so um and i don't want to leave out south uh, southeastern uh, they had their own ceremony it was very well done and um always a highlight to watch those kids go across the stage and um, having accomplished something pretty significant um, the other thing I wanted to point out is I had the opportunity to introduce two new principals, um, one at Cedar Lee Middle School and the other at, um, at Pierce Elementary School. Charlie King will be the interim principal at Pierce Elementary School. She was a longtime teacher at Pierce and has served as an assistant principal and a director in the county. And Leah Shorb has been uh, the assistant principal at Cedar Lee. For quite some time but i wanted to point it out because of the reaction of the staff they're they're clearly replacing two really good people in david lee and um, laura hoover but the reaction of the staff when leah was introduced at cedar lee and charlie was introduced at pierce were really exciting and really energizing and a real feel-good moment moment and they're two exceptionally good people and exceptionally good leaders and they're going to do a great job in, in those schools, I have no doubt. But there, it was just a really good feeling, really good thing to witness. And so I wanted to share that with you. Um, also, I got to uh, uh, participate in a career day in Ms. Hunley's class at um, uh, and Ms. Lowry, the instructional assistant in that class is Ms. Lowry, uh, at um, Greenville Elementary School. And... Um, it was it was it was good for a couple of different reasons. Um, one, it was obviously really well done on the part of Miss Hunley and um, Miss Lowry to first of all coordinate the different guests who presented during um, and answered questions during the day during the um, career day. But it also gave me an opportunity to share a little bit with the students about my my experience as a student um, and my my a little bit about what I do as superintendent. Because uh, of course, students, especially little the little guys and, and and girls, they they look at me as basically the guy that makes the decisions about whether or not to go to school when the weather's bad. But I was able to share a little bit about what I do, and then a little bit about my background as a as a student, which is is um, uh, kind of unique. Not um, I don't know, not typical. And but my message to them really to the kids there was really directed towards the kids who who struggle and may not feel like they're the smartest kids in the room and who are uh, perhaps easily embarrassed or who, who may experience uh, certain dis learning disabilities and those those things were all true of me as a as a a little guy and I wanted to just spend a couple of minutes with those kids speaking directly to those kids. Uh, who may be experiencing the same thing to help them understand that it's all it's all overcomable to really all about believing in yourself and, and having supports um, so it, that was just it was just really kind of a touching experience for me and the kids were great and of course the teachers were great so those are my three great things for this week I, as I mentioned I'll be providing other updates um, particularly during the summer academies um, but this will be it for me. It's been uh, quite an interesting school year, and in spite of all the adversity and the struggles and the barriers, uh, I think we were still able to accomplish many great things, and so I'm, I'm appreciative uh, for that. But I hope everyone has a great rest of the week, 
and uh, we'll be back in touch soon. Thank you.